Hello everyone. Now we will start to learn the software Petrol, and hopefully we can cover static modeling and also dynamic modeling using Petrol or Petrol Reservoir Engineering. All right. We are now inside the Petrol software. It's a very, very important and useful software for modeling and also for simulation. You can see we have here in home, we have stratigraphy, seismic interpretation, and structural modeling, property modeling, fracture modeling, reservoir engineering, well engineering, and then simulation, and also geomechanics. Many things we can do using this software, but in this video, we will start with building a simple static model. All right, we will perform static modeling with a very, very simple model. Okay, so from here, first we will set up the, the units that we will use. We go to file and then project setup, go to project settings. Okay, here we have info, statistics, coordinates, 3D settings and others, all right? Don't be scared. We will input it line by line. We go to coordinates and units, all right? And then we will use unit metric system. And then for the simulation units, so unit system is for static modeling, the unit system that we will be used in static modeling Whereas for the simulation units is the units that we will use in simulation, in Eclipse, for example. And here in using Eclipse, later on we can select either field, metric system, or lab system. Yeah, we can use by default metric. Okay. And then project time, yeah, you can use the default. And then for the XY unit in meter, Z unit also in meter, area unit meter squared, volume unit meter cube, seismic time meter second, seismic velocity meter per second. Okay, we will keep it as it is. And then we can click apply and okay. All right. Now from here, we can go to home and then paints. We go to processes, okay? You can see now we have some processes here. Input, stratigraphy, geophysics, structural framework, corner point gridding, property modeling, upscaling. It's easy to be afraid with all of these things but yeah, we can learn it step by step. Okay, so processes, paints, processes. And then we go to utilities. We find utilities there. We open the drop down menu. I will make it like this, okay, for better view. Okay, in utilities, we have make edit polygons, make edit surface, make simple grid, All right? So we will use polygon or we will make polygon surface and also simple grid in utilities. Okay, now we go to make simple grid. All right, okay, double click. Okay, this is the wizard for make simple grid. 